welcome back to AAA Notes. Now, before I start talking about what's new, and there are a lot of new things, I just want to show you something. Now, you see this simple scene. You have this uh, area of vehicles, then the tunnel, and the ground, and then you have this curve. And if I go here to this node setup and uh, look for the ground, you see uh, the frame ground. If I unmute this node by pressing M, you see what happened with the ground. But if you remember, we also had that curve and I will look for it here. It says Bezier curve. You have this morph factor value, which is plugged in this curve morpher here, where the frame says tunnel, and also to this convoy frame, it also has a curve morpher node. Now, if I change this value to, let's say, 25, let's see the uh, render preview. So, you can also change uh, the material from here. Uh, the cool thing with this uh, particular scene is that everything was made with AAA nodes and Blender Zone geometry nodes. The whole setup is here, everything from the wheel, and if you go down here, you will see wheel, all the way to this tunnel, ground, and everything. What is also uh, good to mention here is that this scene is uh, one of the examples added to the package, uh, finally. So if I uh, make this bigger, uh, and if I press T here, I will see the AAA nodes categories. And all the way down, you will see uh, under E, AAA nodes examples. So we have three of them, and uh, there are also uh, there's also a new category named uh, AAA nodes modifiers. And for now, there's only one, and I will add more in the future. But this is just to encourage you to try building your own uh, modifier uh, with AAA nodes. So. Uh, when it comes to nodes, uh, new ones, uh, there are a lot of new nodes here. I think that the most significant ones are the cube segments, mesh borders, then the pill. Here we have viewport transform, edge splitter, intersection pipe, move by normal. If you remember, this one was named uh, move by uh, normal in the past, but it was changed to move by X. Even lower, we have a viewport boolean, which was used a lot for one of the examples that you will find inside the package. Uh, align distribute slide, points preview. And the last one I would like to mention here is a face type selector. This just helps you, you know, select the faces with a certain number of vertices. And at the bottom, you can see the examples that we have already mentioned. Let's move to the next example and you can see it here and the setup is here. This one is interesting because if you uh, concentrate on this, on this middle uh, frame you will see a bunch of similar or actually the same notes uh, repeating. This first one is different and we also have this uh, grid array added to the mix. But all these nodes are actually Boolean nodes. And the cool thing is that they're controlled by an empty object placed inside the scene, which means that you can move your objects inside the scene, the objects that are defined inside the geometry nodes, or uh, you can cut with those empties because they control uh, the objects that are built here. So for example, we have uh, this one, AD, which means air drone, MT7, front cut. So if I go here and open this, you will find it here. And you see, I have uh, actually selected it here. Also, we have this MT6 wing front control or controller. If I select it here, right in the scene, I can move wings. And all these nodes actually control what is going on here with this uh, model. So it's all here. Every frame has the name and explanation what is used. 
uh, you also notice that these nodes uh, have different color if i open this window once again this asset browser you will notice that each category has the color typical for it it will be a lot easier for you when you're uh, going through this setup to understand uh, what is used and where to look for it okay so then we're going to move to skeleton frame we have used the cube segments here you will see it here so cube segments and we used it a bunch of times and we also used the pill it's here for this dome and the cool thing with the cube segments is that you can actually uh, define the number of segments so you see here we have uh, 32 x segments uh, 20 y segments and then 10 z segments and then we use this resample switch so we kept the size 32 by 20 by 10 but we changed the value for the sections which means that uh, we have defined the size of these plates and we did similar for this entrance the only difference is that the plates are smaller than these outer plates uh, same thing with the uh, dome the only difference is that here we used the new uh, also the new node and that's the extrude inset and this is how we have built this uh, effect here same as before all the frames have proper names so it will be uh, very easy for you to navigate and understand what is going on let's preview in the render mode as I said, the object is very simple, but with all these uh, adjustments with AAA nodes, you get something very, very complex. So just imagine if you would use even more complex uh, geometry, how you could bu build a very intricate scene. Okay, so let's move forward. Here we have just a simple cube with this going on and this is achieved uh, with that last example that I mentioned which is actually modifier so just dragged and dropped it onto a cube so if we scroll all the way down here you will see it there it is now since this is a modifier I can easily just select the cube and delete it and apply it again by just drag and dropping it on the cube. If we go to the modifiers list, you have these uh, sliders which you can adjust. So for example, we can change the number of segments to maybe 15, or we can change uh, the appearance of this uh, ground or even remove the ground. We can remove it by noise to get uh, a more random results can uh, do a bit of a, a random rotation as well like so scale it and add even more rotation randomness of course all these can be animated as well so or doing stuff like motion graphics, I think you will get some really nice results. For the end of this video, I just want to go back to the first example. It's uh, the military convoy. So I just want to let you know how to get the best of uh, this setup. Now, this is actually a tutorial. If I make this a bit larger, you will see that there are some frames with text, the green ones and the red one, as well as some additional green notes on top and let me just quickly explain what is going on now this is actually a tutorial for you to follow so you start with the tutorial introduction then move to the assignment and then you can read the explanation uh, which is telling you basically what AAA nodes were used for these uh, setups here so on the on the left side we have this uh, vehicle defined from the wheel 
to the launcher, cabin, body. So everything is made with these nodes. And then we have this green skyscraper nodes, uh, which are just group input. If we go back here, you will see that in the right sidebar, we have those values exposed. It's the same thing here, S0 by the zero, S0 by the zero. So you can disable and enable them. And the tutorial suggests you to break these connections here. If you're using Node Wrangler, you can do it with control, right click, just cut them off, or you can select those skyscraper nodes and delete them. So if you delete them, I will delete this one, you'll end up with this switch nodes. So it's the same thing as you saw on the right sidebar. With these switch nodes, you can turn them on and off. And this is how you follow the tutorial. You go from the switch, uh, another switch one. Uh, actually, that, that's a uh, wrong info here. You will see it says, when you're ready to continue, feel free to disconnect all the noodles, blah, blah, blah. After you're done with the above, use the green switches. Click on the checkbox to reveal the final composition. It is very important that you follow the correct order. Switch one, switch two, switch three. So you, you start with switch zero. And that's the switch here. Switch zero. And then you move to switch one, switch two, switch three. Switch four, switch five, switch six, switch seven switch 8, switch 9, switch 10, and so on. So, and all these switches have their names written above, so you, will, you won't get lost. Uh, and uh, I can unswitch these switches, so. And this is what I end up with. And this is actually the start of the tutorial. So you will do it here in the scene, but before you start, you can see here what is going on. That's it. Enjoy.